Good morning everyone, nice to see you on this pleasant morning. It's a little bit duller today. Um, I just want to say a special aye aye to Jeff and Maria. Uh, thanks for your shout out on your last video. Uh, I've just got a few things I want to show you today. But first, before I go on to my things, I just want to mention that I've used one of Cherie's bubble bars and... Judy from Kesheri, her bubble bars have unbelievable bubbles, but these were magnificent. We didn't use the whole thing. We've used, got four good baths out of this. Very, very good bubble baths. Um, I've never seen as many bubbles as I've seen in Sherry Lynette's. This is Witchy Poo. It smells absolutely incredible. And the other product... Um, I use that I really really like this was from um, Nikki 26 and she has bubble babes bath company and um, this is one of her bath truffles it was really silky smooth very 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 nice in the bath so that's just a couple of shout outs for those and I've just got a couple of soaps to show you um, I've got this one over here it's a little bit crumbly so what I've done is I've cut each bar a lot bigger. Um, still going to be the same price, but I've cut them a lot bigger so that you get more for your money. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how that one's turned out. I'm just going to get my book because I forgot what I'm going to call that. If I can find it quick enough. I've wrote loads of fab names um, down. <laughs> it's finding it, isn't it? So it's a fab bakery scent, um, a mixture of creme brulee, and it's got toffee and honey notes in as well. And this one is going to be called Bella Vita, which means beautiful life. Uh, so that's my Bella Vita soap. And the other one, which didn't turn out quite as I expected, was this one. Uh, again, I've forgotten what I'm going to call it, but it's the bottom of this one is my very popular raspberry and green stem. And then the top is Passionate Kisses. So when I cut into it, I expected this to be as bright as this. Uh, but it didn't actually work out that way. But I'm thinking while it's curing, it is darkening up as we're going along. So it's definitely a very, very fruity fragrance. And this is my new version of my Precious Pear, which has always been very, very popular. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you was, um, this is now what the dupe, um, dupe, Dupe, I think they're called Dupe Dupe Bubble Bath Cupcakes and they smell like dupe aftershave. That was the old one, but I wasn't really that fussed on that one. But this is one of the nicest aftershaves out. The aftershave I am desperate to come out in an FO is Dior Homme because that is my favourite. It's incredible. Um, I think that's more or less all I've got to show you inside today. And I'll just take you outside. Oh, before I do that, I, a lot of people asked about me showing you all of Maria Roxy's soaps one by one. So this is them all laid out, ready to go. So I will be coming back to that and showing you each slice. And the next thing I wanted to show you is all the work that started for my new soap room. Uh, we did have a bit bare window on there, but we've had to knock it off because this is all going to be refaced. It's a very old house. It was built in 1902, I think, and it ha doesn't have a cavity. So we're going to put a cavity in it. And this is how deep the foundations have to be for the extension. So you can actually see where the extension is going to go and that's going to be my new soap room. So not as bright and sunny today as usual, 
And we've got a bit of scrow, that's what we call mess around at the moment. But still lovely, it's the first morning. It's been a little bit duller, but my hair fever has been incredibly bad while the sun's been out. So I'm hoping that it'll be eased a little bit today. So um, that's it. Um, I will see you next time for the next video. Bye for now.